I'm not gonna lie, that movie out of pocket. I mean, Lil Wayne is the unofficial mascot of the show. Like, we talk about this nigga all the time. Man, that shit chalk. It was a real solid movie. Like, I really can't complain. My name is Derek K. Darko, and this is Mark Randall the third. And this is the Mark and Dark Show, your plug for entertainment, for movie and TV news, reviews, and opinions. Yes, sir. I'm Mark Randall the third. I'm Derek K. Darko. And what is up? What is going on? Welcome back. Welcome back. Damn. Yo, bro. I'm feeling good. Thank you. I feel pretty good, too. Like, I really, like, you know, we about to have an event in 10 days. Um, You know, I'm, like, I don't feel, like, nervous. You know, I actually feel a little bit of excitement. Like, I feel like I'm really about to. Terrified. You say you're terrified? Fucking terrified. I can tell you look stressed, dog. I can tell you stressed. Terrified. Like I sent out my emails. I had, I learned so much about marketing. Like yeah, I still got to print up all the shirts. Uh, then my job trying to send me to New York next week. When? Fucking Tuesday to Thursday, and you know, like I already got like tickets to. I already got my tickets for Thursday, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's like. Uh, I'm probably going to see that joint on Friday. I'm going to see that joint on Friday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to see that joint on Friday. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, I'm a little stressed. I'm, I, I feel like it's going to be positive, though. Like, our definitely... vendors is good. We actually got a vendor now. I'm, I'm super excited to announce our new partner that's going to be partners with the event, and we'll be hearing ads, like like real ads yeah. on our show for you know, the first time. And if you want that, if you want that ad free, if you want that ad free, you got to go to the Patreon. Go to patreon.com backslash spaces Philly and you can get ad free episodes as well as bonus shows yep. that you can't hear anywhere else like Lulu and Pop's Netflix and Chill. Oh, yeah. That's the first one, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Netflix and Chill. We got like, we got like two of them. That's like the first like ever video on BET Uncut. What? <laughs> nah, that's a that's not a good term. Nah, my bad. Nah. All right, all right. Nah, not yet. Uh. <laughs> nah, chill, 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 chill. chill. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you said you said you said it's like a bonus, like after Joe. So if you can stay up like past a certain time, you could get you get a privilege to watch BT Uncut. I mean, I mean, I guess yeah, because yeah, it's just like yo, like you know, you feel accomplished. You know, you like yeah. you paid and everything. So. All right. Yeah, that's- I, I don't. I just don't think I've ever felt that passionately about BET Uncut, <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's where the disconnect is. Because I'm like, when I hear Uncut, I'm just like, when I hear Uncut, it's the same thing as like a nigga being like, "Yo, do you want do you want a pop tart?" I'd be like, "All right, oh man," <laughs> but I wouldn't go out and just buy a box of pop tarts. That's very true. <laughs> but if somebody got a pop tart, I'll, I'll, I'll take one. I mean, of if if the box if the box of pop tarts was half off though. <laughs> <laughs> it was like you gotta it's like you kinda gotta Yo, stretch that joint. If the box of Pop Tarts is half off, it has to be on the aisle with the big ass orange sticker on it <laughs> for me to even notice that shit. Cause when I'm shopping, I don't even know what flavors they got for Pop Tarts right now. <laughs> Do they got Swedish fish Pop Tarts? I uh, mean they got Swedish fish water ice. Uh, Do they got water ice flavored Pop Tarts? I hope not. Like why not? I hope not, dog. <laughs> that does not sound like a good combination. <laughs> Eggnog um Pop Tarts. <laughs> yo, I just gag, yo. <laughs> Did you just see my face? I just really just gagged a little bit. Yo, French toast pop tarts. No. Oh, actually, no. Probably, probably French toast pop tart. It might be good. I don't that know. I think good. the fake yolk would taste gross because it would be like yellow or something. Mm-hmm. Those French toast is like eggs on bread mm-hmm. with cinnamon and syrup. Just, just make it cinnamony, pretty much, and they pretty much have just like a brown like sugar. Yeah, it gotta be a brown sugar with like a cream filling. They have a brown sugar pop tart. I know that's the only one my job brings. <laughs> You'll be eating hella brown sugar. Yo, that's the joint. That's the pop tarts at my job. That's half off right now. Cause nobody want them shits. Yo, people been buying them though. Yeah, like, cause yeah. they half off. I'm, I'm taking three of these boxes. I need this for my kids. <laughs> God damn. Three of these boxes. God damn. All right, so. <laughs> Damn, how we get derailed so hard? Um, just you know, just common conversation. It's Wednesday. Yeah, 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 yeah. True life. We we feeling great. We feeling we feeling wavy. Yeah, dog. I mean, times like, is good. Yo, like I'm. I told you, dog. I'm here for the long haul, dog. The oh, ups yeah. and the downs, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Def Jam, Jam, baby. Yeah, yeah. Um, so just to break down the, the the way the show goes, we we do the movies of the week where we talk about what we watch for the week. Then we get into the pop culture pregame mm-hmm. where we go through pretty much movie TV movie, news, TV pretty, news, yeah, gossip, yeah. Everything. And then we do the weekly digest where we watch some trailers. We got a couple of trailers on here though. Yeah, because that's I, I, that's popping. Yeah, added two more. That's what's up. I'm excited for it. So movie of the week, we both agreed that Thor Ragnarok. Mm-hmm. Something we got to talk about. Who? No spoilers, right? Uh, no, let's not do a spoiler. Okay. No we'll spoilers. do a spoiler review on the Patreon. Yeah. Mark and Dark spoil that shit. <laughs> <laughs> the, the spoils, the spoils of Mark and Dark. The spoils of Mark and Dark. <laughs> Dog. I'm here for it. If you're here for it, I'm down to you put know, another Patreon show on. Dog, you, you already know, man. The spoils little, of yeah, Mark and Dark. Little short johns. You know what I'm saying? We could be sitting out there watching TV and then just. Yeah, we can do it old style. We'll just bring the recorder out. Yeah, dog. Actually, we'll just, do them on the, we'll just do them on like the new setup. We'll just put on the lobs. Oh, yeah. The, oh, my gosh. The lo- oh, man. Yeah. Please bring that back. Yeah. We need to bring that back ASAP. Dog. People, yo, people want that. People need to get on the Patreon and, and check it out. We're going to bring it back. Yo. Yo, the spoils of Mark and Dark. You, did y'all just hear that? We just created a show Magic. right now. Magic. Magically for y'all. <sighs> Magic Magic Johnson, no AIDS. I used to throw rock and rock, right? <laughs> All right, real quick, though. <laughs> I got to educate you, young blood. Real quick. Mm-hmm. Magic Johnson never had AIDS. I, I mean, I, I heard that rumor, too. He never had that. He was never sick. I think the mob. I think the mob like was like, nah. Like you have to. You you get too much in debt. So was, you say you have AIDS, Michael Jordan. You retire. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think he has AIDS. <laughs> and if he did have AIDS, mm-hmm. he no longer has AIDS. I think he got it cured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He got that he, shit. He got that shit cured. Like it was like polio. I think he had it, and I think he got it cured. If he had it, I don't think he had it long. Maybe like five years. You think so? I mean, he did come out there and play basketball. Again. He sure as hell did. And the only nigga that would defend against him was Robin. Yeah, he didn't care. I was like, "Fuck it, let's get strange." This game's gonna change my life either way. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so Thor Ragnarok, mm-hmm. Thor's third film. Yep, fucking good. I liked it. I fucking liked it a lot. It, um, it was very very enjoyable. Um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like Tessa Thompson in the trailers because she was. The way she moves her face is weird to me sometimes. <laughs> like, it's cute, but it's cute like pugs. Yeah. You know how, like, a pug is cute, but mm-hmm. it's really kind of ugly? Right. Like, if a pug was big, you would be like, that shit look fucking creepy. Get that shit out of here. Mm-hmm. Like, sometimes she makes certain faces. Like, when they were in a jet, she was like, here we go. <laughs> and then she did, like, this weird, like, mouth twist thing. And I was just was like, <sighs> you wasn't feeling it. I don't, but then when I saw it, and you see it as a whole, yeah. it makes so much more sense. I felt it. And I was like, she's drunk. <laughs> 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 That's why she be like talking like that. Because she's drunk. Like she yo, she like, be drunk it. She was drunk as shit in that joint. Yo, her first introduction, she literally fell out of the damn ship. She did fall out the ship. Yo, and I listened to the director, I can't pronounce his name, but he said a lot of shit was um ad libbed. Oh wow. And improv. Wow! If you watch it closely, you can see them laughing. Also, what's his face? Um, was uh, was Korg? Uh, yeah, the, the director. Korg, low key, was the. Yo, that's my was favorite character. character. Dog. <laughs> oh, goodbye, dead duck. <laughs> dude, I threw a revolution, right? <laughs> and I put the wrong date on the flyers. <laughs> I showed up, and no one else did. <laughs> So yeah, I am. Yo, Krog was amazing. Dog. Can I just tell you that? Um, first of all, when I went to go see it, I don't. Where'd you Where'd you see it at? I saw that joint at Plymouth. Me in. Yo, I saw it in Plymouth too. Uh-huh. Sorry. So we 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 both in Plymouth, right? I get up there. We get the popcorn. We get the soda. I'm anxious because this was like a rough drive to get there. I just get mm-hmm. out of work, and I'm like, as I'm walking in, I thought about that Cedric the Entertainer skit from uh, Kings of Comedy. He's like, mm-hmm. I wish a nigga would be in my seat. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm talking to Lauren, and we're walking in. And I was like, yo, I wish a nigga is in my seat, though. I hope a nigga is in my seat. Yo, we sat in F12, mm-hmm. F13. If you know anything about Plymouth, it go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yep. 13. Wow. So 12 and 13 is on the end. Mm-hmm. You just go up to F, 
You look over, one seat, two seat, supposed to be empty seats. Yeah. They were not empty. <laughs> <laughs> so a nigga was in your seat. A nigga was in my seat. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be the name of the show, Oh, my goodness. (laughs) Yo, this nigga was all up in my seat. My seat was warm. I was like, yo, my man, that's my seat. And he was like, oh. And he was like, all right. So then he, like, got up and he shuffled down. And then I'm, like, looking, and he's just sitting in the seat, like, just like he just moved over one one seat. Mm -hmm. And I don't trust him. Like, I don't want to put Lauren in that seat. Right. But, I, but something about him just look off. Like, I ain't trust him. Oh, man. Like, and he we'll, had bad bugs or something, and it was waiting for you in the seat. Nah, like, he might try to put his hand on her thigh or something. What? I just didn't trust him. I just okay. didn't get a good vibe. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I look at the seat, so I sit in that seat. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you sit in this seat. I'll sit in this seat. I'm going to sit in the seat next to the dude. Dog, that seat was a love seat. Oh, shit. Yeah, so, like, like there was no division like the arm came down, but the arm is like not really there. It's meant yeah, for couples. It's meant for couples, yeah. Dog, me and this nigga sat next to each other in a goddamn <laughs> love seat, John. I was a hundred percent like, hell yeah, like hell no, nah, I'm not gonna let Lawrence sit in the seat. Yeah. There's no like undercarriage thing over there. Like I know if like do was to do something, she would freak out and then mm-hmm. I gotta fight him in the drawing. But it's like, why would I even make the opportunity yeah, to even, for that to happen? Yeah. And plus when you get the vibe, you get the vibe. Right. You know what I mean? I don't know if you've ever got the vibe before, but I was like, mm, I don't trust this nigga. Yeah, I get the vibe all the time. Dog. All right. I'm always alert, man. <laughs> I alert, baby. It's always on. So, yeah, man. Uh, a nigga was in my seat. Damn, dog. Yeah. I would have did something, like, kind of drastic a little bit. What would you do? I don't know. I think I would have, like, kind of, like, try to shake his hand and then pull him out the seat. <laughs> <laughs> fin- finesse ball. Like, yo, like, you got to get the fuck. Nah, he was like, oh, head, dog. He was like 40. Man, fuck old head, dog. <laughs> just grab his head. Like, <laughs> and, like, you shaking his head. Like, hey, what's up, man? And just grab, just yanking him out the seat. Why would you do that, though? Why would you just tell him to get out the seat? Nah, man. I don't know, dog. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it's just like, just come at you fast, man. You just got to swing, bro. <laughs> swing, bada, 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 swing. Mm, Yo. That's not right. That's kind of dope saying, though. It is. <laughs> I wish a nigga would be in my city. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo. I'm done, that's dog. the new title of the show. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dog. Yo, I was trying to type, I wish a nigga would be in my seat. <laughs> you type city. And I type city. Oh, damn. No, I got knock it. it over? No, no, no. It's cool. All right, cool. All right. Uh, what would you think of Thor? I enjoyed it very much. Um, yo, like I said, Korg dog, it was hilarious. He was. The Hulk was a surprising character. I didn't like that he talked so much. He talked a lot. Why? I mean, yo, if you peep in some of the new like Avengers cartoons and shit like that, that'd be on like Disney XD. The Hulk does talk. Like Bruce Banner is never there. It's just the Hulk talking in full ass sentences. <laughs> he was talking in full ass sentences, but he wasn't really talking. He seemed like he was not much older than two. Yeah. Like, he seemed like he might have been, like, like five mm-hmm. or six mentally. You know what I mean? Like, he didn't seem... Like, I feel like the Hulk was calm, you know? Like, he, he wasn't just all angry all the time and shit like that. He was chilling. Like, yeah. That, and I think that's the dynamic why I like the movie so much, too, is because you saw a different side of Hulk. Not just, like... right. Not the Eric, ben, uh, not the Eric Benet Hawk, where he just always angry and shit like that. That yeah. movie was fucking awful. That movie was. I really like that Hawk though. Yo, because every- can I just say though, I did watch the Incredible Hawk recently, mm-hmm. and I used to love the way that Hawk looked. Mm-hmm. I think Thor's Hawk is my favorite Hawk. Okay, because he looks like big. Yeah, like he'll fuck you up, but he also looks like big. Like, it doesn't look like the Incredible Hawk was shredded. Like, my man looked ripped. Oh, he was shredded more than a Julian salad, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he was a Rambo 1. He was Rambo 2. He was all shredded up. Damn, dog. <laughs> Julius Caesar salad, dog. Romaine, my nigga, Romaine. <laughs> <laughs> Real rap. Oh, fuck out of here, dog. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> 
Oh shit, that's fucking hilarious. Um, yeah, he was he, he was just, but he wasn't super big, and he was kind of bitch made. Mm-hmm. But like this hawk was funny because he like light spoiler. Yeah, not really light spoiler because you see it in the trailer mm-hmm. um, when the hawk fights um, Sutar. Yeah, like he just came out, and everyone was like, "Whoa, no, whoa, 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 whoa!" Right, right. You know, and it was just like he's like, "What?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, I'm trying to smash. <laughs> like, like, what is the problem? Like, I showed yeah. up. I don't know what the problem is, and I and I think that um, that's what's going to like Hawk and the Banner dynamic is going to be the the um, Incredible Hawks arc over the next three films. Okay, that's what I think, and we may end up with either. I think we'll either end up with. I think we'll probably end up with a banner that is the hawk. What you mean? Like, like Bruce Banner, mine is going to be with the hawk's body. Oh, shit. I think that's what we're going to end up with by the time it's all said and done. And I'm hoping that's true because if that's true, they could do like in the future and he like goes away. Mm -hmm. He could become Mephisto, who's a villain. And he was a bad guy hawk because he was dumbass smart. Because then he started, and he was dumbass old, and it was like, the way it worked is it's like, when he stayed Hawk, his brain caught up to Banner, and then it got, like, Hawkified. Oh, shit. So he just started getting real smart. Like, he got as smart as he was strong. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's a real-ass problem. <laughs> Nigga, it was no joke. That's a real ass problem. The only thing was he was in a wasteland. Like there was not really much shit there. Oh, you talk about um, this is from Old Man Logan, right? Where he, he mm, I don't think it's no. Nah, that was like, um, that hawk was actually a hawk that was driven insane by nuclear, nuclear uh, okay. waste or some shit, and he like kept she hawk in a basement and made a bunch of hawk babies. Like that shit is that shit is dis- that shit is disturbing as fuck. Yo, that wasteland was a piece of shit, dog. Yeah. All right, man. Let's slide into the um, pop culture pregame. Mm-hmm. Pop, pop culture. Pop, pop. <laughs> the pregame. <laughs> <laughs> pop All right. culture pregame. Starting up, we got Stranger Things star banned from the U.S. How the um, hell did that happen? Big bro, yo, big Jonathan. bro looked like some bullshit though. He looked like. He looked like the. He looked like he'd be coked out. Yo, he looked like them. He looked like the rich white fuck boy. He do. Like he probably fuck with some Ralph Lawrence on or something. Oh man. <laughs> Yo, remember when he was in that movie that we watched, the John Shut In, and then uh, he ju- like, well, when he got shot, like he like died, like died in the water, and the kid was like all fucked up because he saw him like his eyes all open and shit like that. <laughs> I thought Yo, I was talking real fast. Dog. Which movie was this? <laughs> <laughs> was this on Netflix? Yeah, the John Shut In. Remember when we watched that John with the little kid? Right now, the little kid, and then the boy act like he was paralyzed, but he wasn't paralyzed. Oh, true. Yes, this nigga. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, I was also crazy lifted that night. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one you like. Yo, you was yo you was, you was tapping. I was like, yo. Sometimes when it hits you, you yo that couch is a monster. That shit just take your energy. Both couches. I don't even sit on the blue one. All I know is that that burgundy one there, that shit's like, that's just like the womb, dog. That shit be fun. Yeah. Like, Got the two couches and then the dad the dad chair. Yo, the dad chair is love, though. <laughs> Yo, that's actually my dad's chair. Yo, <laughs> you saw Naeem, dog. <laughs> yeah. Sitting right up. <laughs> Felt that, Joel. He's like, Yo, I feel this. At the, at the Foghorns, like, Yo. He felt, yo, he felt that, bro. Yeah, shout out to the dad vibe. <laughs> All right, next up, uh, Kevin Spacey accused of sexual misconduct by Star Trek Discovery star. Ooh. Anthony Rapp. Yep. So apparently uh, this guy back in 1986, he was 14, he uh, he was doing a Broadway play with um, Kevin Spacey. So Kevin Spacey had invited him over to his uh, spot, his little apartment, whatever. He was having a little party. So pretty much uh, Mr. Rapp was like, he uh Kevin Spacey made a pass at him. It was like pretty much trying to come at him, like, yo, like what's up? Like, I'm trying I'm trying to see I'm trying to see what's up with them cheeks or whatever. And first of all, he was uncomfortable because he's just like, yo, you a grown ass man. I think I think he said Kevin Spacey was like twenty six at the time and he was uh, fourteen. So he was like he was mad uncomfortable. But so he couldn't really 
speak out about it is because, you know, Kevin Spacey, who was Kevin Spacey was back in 86, I guess. So he didn't want to fuck up his money or anything else like that. So he didn't. So he just pretty much kept that under wraps. Um, so pretty much uh, last week it had came out and uh, Kevin Spacey had tried to write a letter saying like, yeah, I'm an openly gay man. So he pretty much wrote the letter pretty much trying to say that, yeah, I'm I'm gay. So it's OK that I made a pass at this kid. But I'm like, yo, like, bro, he's 14. Like you out of pocket for that real shit. Yo, none of that. None of that. All of that right there. Mm-hmm. None of that. All of that. None of that's cool. Dog, it's really out of pocket. Yeah, like, bro, I'm 26 year old dog. Like, there's no way in hell, yo. Even like, even a 20, 21 year old, no. Yeah, he like had him at a party and got him drunk. Like, who brings a 14 year old to a house party and gets him drunk? Yo, I mean, I could understand if you was like, if you was an uncle and that was like your nephew, mm-hmm. and you're just like, ha ha, I'm just like a, a young dickhead. Yeah. Out of pocket, man. Yeah. It's just like, yo, like, you got the bread. Like, you got the name. Like, why? Like, why go, like, try to steal cheeks? Like, why, like, mess up with somebody's livelihood and steal cheeks? I think it's a power thing at that level. Yeah. I don't even think it's about the eeks no more. I think it's more about just, like, I can I can take this because I can because I am that talented. I am this special. I am X, Y, and Z. Yeah, that's a bunch of bullshit, man. But yo, actually though, Kevin Spacey's mad wild though because they were saying in the um, House of Cards show mm-hmm. he had like five accusations, like people accusing him of doing shit on that show alone. Oh, five, my nigga, five. And there's like a pictures of him getting dome on like a <laughs> hiking trip by some other dude. I was like, yo, who knew Kevin Spacey was so a gay like that? And be out there like Yo, that. Yo, he's really out here. Like, I just thought he was, like, a humble gay man. Like, I just thought he was gay in, like, essence, but he really wasn't, like, laying it down. Mm-hmm. But he is, like, no. So he really he, so he really be out there like Frank, kind of, like, even from House of Cards. And Frank he, wasn't even really out there like that. Like, this motherfucker's out there. Yo, he, yo, he's out there like a young playboy. <laughs> So out of pocket. So ever since this Kevin Spacey joint dropped, yeah, everything started dropping. Dog, oh, man, okay. even before the Kevin Spacey joint, it all started with Weinstein. It did. When Weinstein came through, then everybody started coming out the woodwork. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's okay. You can fight this. Do you think it all started with Bill Cosby? Pill? Oh, Bill Cosby. Damn, I repeated it. That's not cool. Ah, oh, damn. It hurts me for that because like, he's so he, yo. He's so iconic. That's the crazy thing. He's so iconic. He's very, very iconic, especially it for the is, black community, dog. He was very iconic. And the thing is, he is so iconic, it almost makes me wish that I could, like, but you can't. You know what I mean? You can't. You can't. Like, there's no, like, even though he's done all this and he's done all that and I watched him and he was, like, the first black cartoon, really, and he did, like, he was Mr. Huxtable. He had this legacy. He, like... I would say that there's like there's black Gen Xers who modeled themselves after Bill yeah. Cosby. Yep. There's at least I would say a handful of niggas right now that's black doctors mm-hmm. that got a family, got a brownstone and shit because of Bill Cosby. Yep. Like, but he was thirsty. He was very thirsty. Like he twelve accu- twelve like. 12 accounts man he wanted to he wanted to drink all that water bro like when i heard the first one i was like i don't know because sometimes you know but you know what's true though is that i had um a homegirl who like works in media and she was saying that she met bill cosby and it was the most disappointing encounter she's ever had in her life because he definitely hit on her when um when she met him Crazy. And like I went to school with her, so we're the same age. Oh wow! Damn, doubt that, like that's really heartbreaking though. Just because, bro, like he was really like that black dad, dog. Especially like growing up, you know, and like growing up in the nineties, you know, seeing the reruns and shit like that. And I'm just like looking at Bill Cosby, you know, looking how he treated all his kids, and you know, the education behind it and everything like that. Like that shit was so. Wow, you know, it, it, it like, like most people, I didn't really believe it at first, but 
But then just more accusations came. I'm like, damn, yo. I think like it went from like one or two to five real quick. Yeah. And once it got past two, I was like, all right, okay. Something's up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then they started coming in. Once they got in those double digits, I was like, there's no way I can ever forgive right. Bill Cosby. And we just got, yo, speaking of Kevin Spacey, we just got a new, I just got a CNN alert saying Kevin Spacey dropped from movie. Wow. Damn, Kevin Spacey's career is about to be over. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's over for him. Mm. Well, keep your dick in your pants and stop being a pervert. Basically. I don't got no sympathy for you, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, so next we got... Um, That's your man's right there. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to drink another rush hour back. Fuck that nigga, dog. <laughs> yeah, we got Playboy puts Brent Ratner's Hugh Hefner bioc on hold. Do you want to know why they put it on hold? Because Hugh Hefner's an awful motherfucker. Yeah, and Brent Ratner has allegations. Oh, shit. Yeah. Damn. Th- that's what I said. When Kevin Spacey dropped, everybody started dropping. Yo, I heard Mariah had allegations. <laughs> For real? Yeah, and like like two dudes said that Mariah tried to sexually harass him. Yo, real rat. Yo, Terry Crews said somebody had touched his dick, yo. I forgot who he said, but I think it was some, it was yeah. some fucking guy or something like that. He had get rid of his dick or something. That's weird. That's super weird. That's weird. Like, uh, no, I, I think it was. A, I, think it was a, I think it was a woman. I think it was a woman. Nah, it was a dude. It was a dude? It was a dude, yeah. I didn't read the story. Was did he take his dick out of his pants, or was it like the, the guy put the hands in the pants? No, or he just like probably was like, oh, oh, that's even weirder. That is weird. Like, yo, <laughs> I think I would have slapped dude. You remember when uh, that one dude tried to kiss Will Smith and he backhanded him? I think I would have did that. Fuck's wrong with you, dog? <laughs> Fuck wrong with you, cut. Yo, when Will Smith did that, I was like, my nigga. I was laughing like shit. I was dog. like, yo, Philly stand up. Yo, Philly stand up. Yo, Philly he did that shit, yo. Fuck he, up. Said, mm. he said, man, I'm soft you. <laughs> this wrong with you. That was wrong with you, man. <laughs> he said, he said, back end. It was a hard back end, too, dog. And the dude was so confused. Like, what are you confused about? Like, where? <laughs> why are you confused? Do you not understand why you got smacked in the mouth? Oh my because gosh. we all understand. We all see why you got smacked in the motherfucking mouth, dog. We all see that shit. Yo, and it was hard, too. I was like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, well, smack the shit out there. Nigga. Yo, that shit was like instinct, and then it was followed up by like, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. This is what's real. Um, all right, do you care about that? I don't care about Hugh Hefner at all. Oh, um, mm. no, nah, I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. All right, what I do care about is Tyrese. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Tyrese Gibson threatens to quit. Fast nine if Dwayne and jo- Rock Johnson returns. Um, Yo, Tyrese is having a really, 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 He's really a bad one. month. Because <laughs> <laughs> he keep taking L's this whole... He's having a really bad month. He's having, like, a bad fiscal quarter. He is. You know, like, his shit is bad. Like, I think he's paying, like, 13000 a month in child Yo, support. he is having a shitty as month, dog. What do you do when you're Tyrese and you need extra money? Can you Uber? <laughs> <laughs> yo, what's up, yo? Tyrese. <laughs> <laughs> Sit in the back like, yo, shit, yo, it's Tyrese, dog. <laughs> Why don't you take, like, some indie roles? Like, try to actually act a little bit, you know? Like, I don't know. Like, do something that you can't. Do an album that 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 that's not a hip hop album, you I mean, know something else. Yo, he's stressing, dog. He is stressing bad, bro. Like, sh- yo, it, it only got worse after I sent you this article, dog. Yeah, it did get worse. Like, he started crying. Yo, it was too. I think like within the week, dog. He's just crying. Yo, he cried twice. Yeah. The one time we saw you crying uh, with the black hoodie, it's another time I saw him World Star Hip Hop where he crying. And he started twerking. <laughs> what? Shut the fuck up. Yo, look it up right now, dog. I don't want to. Start look- <laughs> I don't he started look crying. It up, Yo, the only ratchetness my computer can handle is media takeout, dog. I can't get on World Star. Dog, World, World Star, Star too ignorant, dog. Yo, World Star is, uh, <laughs> is drunk. <laughs> Do people still yell World Star? Do people still do, uh, yell World Star? When, I'm, when I was watching... Uh, no, when I was at my coworker's uh, office, we were watching these Australians f- have a fight, and, a fr- and they were fighting bouncers and other Australians in the background. World star, world star, 
you know, in the accent and shit like that. So it was, I mean, World Star is still relevant, pretty much. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. Um, well, I'll watch that video offline <laughs> before you roll. All right, that's cool. All right, so, um, yo, you had this written wrong in the notes, and it fucked me up at first. What do you mean? Because you were talking um, The Runaways. Yeah. It's not The Runaways. Uh, who is it? Oh, The New Warriors. The New Warriors, yeah. Because I was like, damn, I thought The Runaways was testing good. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was like, damn, what happened? <laughs> So Marvel's New Warriors is dropped at Freeform on a hunt for a new home. So I have some inside information about this a little bit. I don't know how much inside it is. I think it's pretty much common knowledge. Yeah. That New Warriors, first of all, Runaways test it really well. Okay. Like people are saying it's it's pretty good. You're going to enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. They're saying it's going to be a hit. Okay. It's like Stranger Things with superheroes. Oh. I think. Um. The New Warriors is a comedy. A. It has Squirrel Girl in it. B. Okay. And the New Warriors tested mm-hmm. really well. Okay. Like, like it's going to be a hit. New Warriors too? Yeah, New Warriors. Yeah. So Freeform didn't have a real good spot for a show that was going to be a hit. Mm-hmm. They had a spot for just a show. Like, they didn't have, like, a prime time slot opened up for it. Okay. So I think Marvel's going to shop it around, most likely, to ABC because to ABC. they're losing the Inhumans. Oh, yeah, because Inhumans was lezite. Nope. What the fuck? <laughs> that's so weird, man. I hate when they do that shit, man. Damn. That's that's popping. Damn. <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely put the runaways. I'm like, yo, I just saw the little preview drawn on this straight. Yeah. And but yeah, that's that's what's up though. The new warriors will be popping. I thought Andrew, Anna Kendrick was going to be the uh, squirrel girl. In nah, I knew she, I knew when it was a TV show. She it was too big. Okay, yeah, I think she would did it if it, if it was like a movie or something. Yeah, that would have been popping. All right, so much to many people, much to you and I debate. Mm-hmm. Wendy Williams passed out on live TV. Do you still think it was all fake? And it was she was she, and she was scamming. She was scamming. Okay. So, we're just going to play this one more time. Listen, slurs. So, it was a lot of fun. Let's get started. Our first caress. Oh, shit, that was a slur. Look, 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 right there. That's true fear. That's when you, like, don't know where you are. And, I mean, that was very dramatic. That was super dramatic. But, you know, everything leading up to that was real. Yeah. Life. Like, look at his face, dog. Oh, he's not going to play. Oh, wait. <laughs> I just was I did, all you hear is the people screaming. Ooh! Why would you Why would you do that and make yourself into that hard of a meme if that shit was fake? Like, even think about, like, the dumbest of niggas who be doing shit for, like, publicity. Mm-hmm. Like, Bow Wow. Bow Wow don't be really doing, like, he wouldn't do that on TV. Right. He'll do it on his Snapchat or something where only his fans will really see it. Yeah. And then it might get shared on that. Like, this is like prime. This is like daytime television. I think she. <laughs> Dog. It this might is be. daytime television. This is not for like. This is for like white ladies at home <laughs> who have disposable income. I did. I think you might be right, bro. Dog. I think she. Pa- I think she. Really she passed really out. passed out. But I think she like. I think she was really a, a bit dramatic about it too. Oh yeah. Well, when, when she dropped, that shit was hella dramatic. Like, come on, all right, <laughs> that's come why on, I girl. believe it. Come on, girl. But I, I will say, like, <laughs> and then the crowd. The crowd made it a little worse too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cause she started like that slurring. I was like, oh, that's real. And then I think she, I could see her 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 thought process mm-hmm. where she started stumbling. She was like, "Oh my god! Like I don't have any balance. Everything feels crazy." Mm-hmm. And then it was like the "Oh my god! I'm about to fall on TV." Oh. And then there was like a moment where it was just like, "I think I got it." And then it was like, "I have nothing." You ever been laying in bed and you get the spins? Yeah. And then you think you're good, mm-hmm. and you realize you're not good. Yep. You should probably go throw up right now, and you don't make it. That's what happened to her. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Damn. yeah. I believe she's gonna. I believe we're gonna hear something about rehab soon. Will she be on something? Either a rehab or a retreat. There's going to be some type of like for her to relax. 
She's not, I think she's probably on a lot of shit because she's going through that crazy divorce. That shit is nuts. Like, he has a he has a whole-ass mistress. She has a whole-ass house and a whole-ass car that he is paying for, and he works for her. And that shit is around the corner from day house. Damn. And he's not even hiding it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's just like, yeah, I got a whole nother woman around the corner, and I pay for my woman with your money. Like, damn. Yeah. I feel like she's got a lot on her plate. Poor thing. Uh, she should have drank enough water. She, I mean, all right. Here we go. Have you seen this one? What? Nope. All right. So. Oh, shit. Word on the streets is Creed 2 will unleash Ivan Draco's son. I don't fucking want this. I don't. I don't want that either. Let it go. Like that's why when Stallone said he's like, I'm directing. I'm like, I'm not. You know, you know he was going to do that bullshit. It's because Stallone sucks, man. Stallone's like a big ham sandwich. He probably would have Chuck Norris out this bitch if he could. He'll probably try to set up a fucking. Try to try to bring back like Mr. T's kid or something to be like rampage or some shit. Or what they could do is just like have him like put him at the end. Like put him at the end and then be like, all right, so we going we going to see it from this perspective as like they're making an Ivan Drago movie or some shit like that. I'm gonna just, tell you exactly how they're gonna do this. They're gonna tie this in mm-hmm. with um, the fact that Apollo Creed's son is like a boxer, mm-hmm. and they're gonna be looking for an event, and they're gonna be like put it to try to like put it together for all this money, mm-hmm. and maybe like I don't know, Adonis is like. It's probably going to take place like a couple years later, so he's going to be like a little bit more in his career. Mm-hmm. He'll probably have a kid or something. He'll probably be on the struggle bus. You know, he's working at the restaurant to make ends meet, or she's working at the restaurant to make ends meet. Mm-hmm. Someone's working at the fucking restaurant <laughs> to make ends meet. And then like Stallone's still going to be sick and shit. I, I, I can just see this movie already. And then he's, he's just going to be like... All right, you know what? I'll take this match just to get the bread because mm-hmm. I got real nigger responsibilities. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I'm a beautiful boxer. <laughs> and then he fucking trains. And then, like, the shit gets personal because he killed his dad. Yeah. And, you know, maybe Ivan doesn't have a good relationship with his dad or something. I don't mm-hmm. know. That's nutty. And he'll win because he lost the last one. So he has to win this one. No, nah, he's going to lose again. No, nah, you, know, you can't have a movie where he loses three times. Like They're going to have all these think pieces. <laughs> like, why the black man got to t- <laughs> <laughs> Nah, we don't need that shit, dog. But I, I hope, and this is real life. Mm-hmm. This is, this is, this is, um, what is it? What is it? Was it from, from your lips to? What you mean? Isn't that like a saying when you say something like it's like from your lips to the sky or some shit like that? No idea. From your lips to the heavens or some shit? Anyway, I think in 10 years time, Mm -hmm. Mark and Dark's going to be so popping with the media that we're going to be brought on Mm -hmm. to reboot the Creed franchise. (laughs) Oh shit! We're gonna get bought on with uh with like a slightly out of his prime Michael B. Jordan, <laughs> <laughs> and they're gonna be like, "Listen, we want to make Creed Five because Creed One is gonna do like was awesome. Creed Two is mm-hmm. gonna be shit. Now nah, we're gonna they're gonna make they're gonna make Creed Four, right? Because Creed Two is gonna be shitty. Then they tried to make Creed Three, and that was really bad. Mm-hmm. And they're like, "We want you guys to take it. What are you gonna do?" I think the one Stallone did for Rocky Four, no, not Rocky Four. Rocky Five was pretty bad too. I don't think a lot of people liked it. I don't because he didn't even box in that John. The one where he was a trainer, yeah, and he like fought Tommy Gunn in the middle of the street. Yeah, he's supposed to die out there. Like, he's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> Stallone originally had him dying in the street, and everybody was like, "Yo, that's a horrible idea." Why would you do that? Why would you kill Rocky in the street? It's fucking Rocky, dude. What are you chill out? What are you doing? They was drawling out there. It <laughs> was drawling out there. Just like with Rambo, like Rambo really got shot at the end of Rambo. <laughs> like there's supposed to be no more Rambos. Like yeah. that was supposed to be it. It was done. But they was like, yo, nah, nigga, this movie's a fucking franchise. Yeah, and he came back shredded up, dog. Shredded up. And in three. Yo, I've never seen a Rambo movie. I seen uh I, th- I think I seen a little bit of the first one, first yeah. blood. Yeah, yeah. I seen a little bit of two, yeah, and I caught a glance of three. 
No more, right. Actually, not three. The new one. The new one when he was an old head and he was yeah. still fucking everything up. I think for the spoils of Mark and Dark, we got to do we got to do one of the Rambo's. I want to do all of them. You want to do all the Rambo's? I want to do all the Rambo's. Oh man, you guys hearing that? You need to sign up for the Patreon. Yup. I want to do all the Rambo's for real. I mean, I'm here for it. All right, are, are, you, are you excited for this Creed too? Um, I want to get a little bit more news about that. But um, also, yeah, Mark and Dark for uh, the Creed reboot four, <laughs> for Creed four, yeah, Creed um, four. We'll, we'll have uh, we'll have something good with it. The American Creed, <laughs> mm-hmm. the American Creed. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Bring back future. <laughs> All right, so Sam Jackson. Um, was seen on the set of Split 2 as um, Mr. Glass. Ah, Mr. Glass. But he's looking a little older. Um, he's got, like, the gray afro. He's looking like Cornell West. Mm-hmm. But, yo, peep out his villain gear. Like, he has on, like, the black and, like, the purple the leather trench. Purple, yeah. Dude, why are you wearing a trench coat when you're in a wheelchair? Like, I don't think that's <laughs> necessary. He's smooth, man. This is, yo, Samuel Jackson, dog. He do no wrong. Do you think he can walk? I don't think he can walk. Didn't he? He was walking at one point, though, right? Yeah, he was. I th- Man, I'm excited for this shit. I am very excited for that John. Dog. He's just like a criminal mastermind. It's a split two. That John's going. Isn't it uh, going to be? Uh, it's going to be called Glass, right? I don't know. I don't care. Just show me. Just show me where where my seat is after you take my money. <laughs> <laughs> don't so, you want to see a trailer first? I want to no. see a trailer. I don't, I don't even care. That's one of those movies. Like, yo, like. There's certain movies like Avengers. Mm-hmm. I didn't, didn't need a trailer. Batman. I mean, not Batman. Um, Black Panther. Mm-hmm. I really didn't need a trailer. Yeah, I really didn't. You definitely didn't need the trailer. I really, really didn't need that shit. And yo, like this film, I don't need the trailer. I want the trailer. Uh, uh-uh, uh, I don't even need it. I think I need it. I think I need the trailer. Nah, I don't even need it. I'm good. <laughs> so the Dark Universe is in trouble. That's the story. I'm over it. Uh, Yeah, fuck it. (laughs) (laughs) Next. Fuck some niggas, dog. All right. Oh, let's get into some real news. So, your mans and them. (sighs) Not my mans and them. They not my mans. Rumor on the streets. Mm -hmm. Black Adam might make his first appearance in Suicide Squad 2. That would have been good if you would have left it just like that. But wait, is there more? Dot dot dot. Uh oh. He will be the main villain. Yes. If you if you didn't read that, I read that he is going to be mm. rumored as the main villain. Not an appearance. Yeah. Not a cameo or nothing like that. Right. The main villain. Let that sink in, bro. I kinda like that. No. I like that a lot. No. Black Adam is a bad guy. He's a bad guy, but I don't like it. him being on Suicide Squad. I want Suicide Squad to get smaller. They know they did it big. They know they did it too big in Suicide Squad 1. That's where it fucked up at. They need to get a little smaller, get a little tactical. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're going to have Mystic Chick, cool, but keep it small. Is is that where they fucked up at? Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't nowhere else. <laughs> well, it was, it was more, but. Yeah. They, it like was, Jared Leto? Yeah. No. Oh yeah, they did fuck him up too. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to see more. I wanted to. Ha- I wanted to be uh, rated R. Yeah. I mean, there wasn't a lot of good there. Slipknot. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Said Enchantress. nothing. Enchantress. <laughs> With the dumbass dance. With the dumb dancing going on. That her CGI brother who looked like a fucking, I don't know, <laughs> level three boss on a PlayStation game. <laughs> like this shit looked bad, dog. Like it just didn't look good. <laughs> And then Diablo, the god, <laughs> for real. <laughs> he was probably like, oh, shit. <laughs> that nigga just died, dog. He did just die. And then he just blew up the god. Like, yeah, whatever. We're going to blow up this other one after he killed this other whole ass Am- Aztec god inside of this loco gangster. Are you fucking kidding me? You just going to blow up with some C4? Nah. This nigga fucking powerful, dog. You see what right. you just did to that nigga? That nigga dead, dog. Yeah, that was some bullshit. Yeah. That shit was wild, and then Amanda Waller like floating below with a tube in her head on the green screen. <laughs> that shit looked bad. <laughs> but that was the only problem, though. They only had that one problem. 
<laughs> yo, you was just shitting on that joint. <laughs> you just went off, yo. You just went off, bro. Yo, suicide is not a good movie. It's not. It's not a good movie. It's not a good. You movie. remember when Batman gave Harley Quinn mouth to mouth <laughs> and then punched her in the face? Right. <laughs> what the fuck was that, man? <laughs> <laughs> who who writes shit like that? Like Batman's gonna make out with Harley Quinn, giving her mouth to mouth, and then punch her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hard ass punch. Too. <laughs> it was fucking, <laughs> that shit was hardy. <laughs> that was one of them Ike Turner bombs. That's what was shit was, I like, uh, looked away from. Eat the fucking cake, <laughs> anime. <laughs> oh man, yo, I think Black Adam being a villain would actually be kind of swag. I don't know if I like it. Yeah, I don't know how they would take him down. They, I guess they would make him good. You said make him good? I mean, he, to get his own spinoff, he has to be somewhat good. Mm-mm. Can I just say that I'm over the rock? Yeah, yeah, you already told me that. Like, nigga, chill out. Just take a little bit of time to yourself. I'm not asking for a lot. Just like a year. Oh, you want him to like fade off for just a little a bit? Just a little bit. Just, yeah. just, just, just do ballers. <laughs> nah. Because you're doing a lot. Like, you on prime, you on, you on prime time television. Mm hmm. You're on basic television. Mm-hmm. You're in movies. You're mm-hmm. rebooting movies. You're fucking hugging kids. You're working out at 4 a.m. every day he's for like he, four hours. He's doing a lot, isn't he? Like, just chill. You're talking about running for president. I thought about voting for you. <laughs> you're getting in fights with fucking R&B singers and shit. Like, <laughs> you, you can eat a bunch of dog shit. <laughs> like, I, I'm just like, yo, like. I can see the rock Vim Raymond's <laughs> the big Raymond topics. <laughs> you feel that no nigga? That's fear. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, yeah, cry for your mama. <laughs> My, Jody. Jody. <laughs> Fucking shit, man. Oh my gosh. Yo, he need to stop acting like a baby boy, dog. Yo, did you like baby boy? I love baby boy. Will baby boy be on the list of um, the new show. Uh, what new show? The Pilot Boys? Nah. Which joint? Our new shit. Oh, the uh, spoils. Yeah, the spoils on market. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, <laughs> get the Crisco. She got the oil. <laughs> she got the Crisco. <laughs> she got the oils. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she got the canola dog. <laughs> Turning niggas out. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Some fairy tale shit, dog. Bro, we are cutting up today. No oh, man, we're in rare form. <laughs> uh, I think it was. Um, I think it was that. Um, without warning. Yeah, it was. I mean, yo, you know who I was listening to the other day? Uh, ASAP Ferg. I really like ASAP Ferg. You like the um, like the album? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it is. That, shit is. that shit is chill. All right, that's how you can tell I hang around too many like. Like like white people at work when I be mm-hmm. saying shit's fun. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. You know what I mean? Like, oh, that's fun. You know, I just gotta like use that terminology. Like, oh, we could bring the dog through. Yeah, that'd be real fun. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not really a good thing. You think it's gonna be fun? It's gonna be fun. Whatever. Okay, so Shazam made some moves this week. Yep. First, they went with announcing oh, the shit. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck was that? Yo, that was- <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> That, that shit, shit was. <laughs> oh my god! What was that? I don't. All right, so we're <laughs> we have the monitor up and we're um, bringing you some live feeds. And there was an advertisement for some type of TV show, and it was a giant baby with a man face running towards someone. It was pretty scary. <laughs> but the thing is, he just. We just like looked up and there it was, <laughs> and it was running. It felt like it was running toward us, like out of the screen. So the shit was like a little creepy. Oh my gosh, y'all! I'm crying right now because <laughs> it came out of nowhere. That shit was out of pocket. Because I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh shit! <laughs> yeah, that shit was running pretty fast too. Like if that shit was chasing you, it's probably going to get you. Real like you're probably done, my done, nigga. Dog. Like while you running, you should really realistically be praying because your shit is over with. <laughs> The best you can do is try to get the one good in. moving this shit. <laughs> I don't want to see that shit no more. All right, let's move on. So, um, 
DC, the DCEU, which is not a real term, by the way, not an official term supported by DC. Some interview dude just made it up and they've just been running with it ever since. They might as well just make it that. Nah, I don't think they're gonna do it because they just they don't like they don't like having nice things. <laughs> <laughs> as you can see with this casting, um, Zachary Levi has been cast as Shazam. Okay. Um, the last thing I saw him in was Heroes. Um, he's in Thor Ragnarok. As who? Who was he in Thor Ragnarok? Maybe he does the voice of someone. Oh, I think he was like one of uh, Thor's uh, for, uh, fighting buddies. I think he died in the beginning. Oh, I don't think so. Maybe we should look him up. I really don't care to look him up. Do you, do I'm going to look, look it up. All right, cool. Um, so if for those who don't know anything about Shazam, Shazam is one of those two-part characters. So uh, Shazam is one person who transforms into another person when he uses shouts to work Shazam. Mm-hmm. Now, depending on which version they go with, um, will depend on how strong Shazam is. But basically, his power levels it works along the lines of he's like a god, right? He's like um, DC's Thor. Mm-hmm. He's a lot like DC's Thor, actually. Yeah, because he's actually like- he is DC's Thor. Oh my god! Now this makes so much sense why they chose him. Why did they choose him though? Because he's funny. Uh, he was on The Office, and nah, he that's can not do the dude from The Office. That's the off. Oh wait, no, he's from um the Jones Chuck. Remember Chuck? Yeah. Well, Chuck was funny, right? I never watched it. Yeah, I, I guess Chuck was funny. I don't know. Yeah, see, he was uh, he was that dude. He was a uh, friend. Fran- oh yeah, he died real early then. Yeah, he died super early. Okay, so apparently he has to get in really good shape because Shazam is supposed to be jacked. Yeah, he's supposed to be like he's supposed to look like Superman. So pretty much he's Superman be, with a hoodie. So pretty much he's supposed to be just as big as uh, Henry Cavill. Okay. Yeah, he has Henry Cavill. He's short, but he's like yeah, he's definitely he, he's solid. Yeah, so he has to be like Thor size. Mm-hmm. But yo, you ever see Thor before he was Thor? Nah, that nigga was crazy thin. He was a fucking bird body. I never saw I never, I that never, nigga look like Andrew Garfield. Talking about uh, Chris Hemsworth, right? Yeah, Chris Hemsworth before he got cast as Thor was tiny. Damn, so he just got he just got jacked. In. Yo, he was on that fucking Twilight diet, <laughs> just fucking trying cash checks and eat steaks. Damn. So then, DC went on. And oh really, shit! God damn it. <laughs> Again with this fucking baby thing. Um, they released um, who got cast as Billy Batson, mm-hmm. who is the human version of Shaz- of Shazam, and it's um, who is this kid? Where's his name? What the fuck? Disney Channel's actor Asher Ashley, Asher Asher Angel. Angel. Okay, so Disney Channel kid Asher Angel has been cast as Billy Batson. And if they're trying to be, this is the DC Thor, I think they're going to make this funny. Mm-hmm. And he's just going to be, it's going to be like Big. Remember the movie Big with Tom Hanks? Yeah. Big with superpowers. Yep. That's what I imagine this is going to be like. And I think it's going to do really well. Mm. Unless they just do something stupid. Right. Just, you know what I mean? If they keep it simple, keep it light, you know, some some good CGI fights. I mean, Black Adam really should be the villain in this, but whatever. They said, yeah, he's not going to be the villain. Is this guy, Professor Something, is going to be the villain? He has one eye. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? That shit is whack. It's really, really whack. Oh, one more thing before we slide into this week's digest. Yeah. Did we already see this trailer? <clears throat> it's the second trailer. Do you want to take it off? Yeah. Let's take it off. All right, cool. Um, the one more thing before we get off that was very important, too. Um, Marvel, Disney might get the X-Men and Fantastic Four. Uh yeah, I mean, I'm kind of here for it, but I'm not here for it. I really want Fox to do it like a little joint join where they can like mention everybody's character, but they like Fox will still be its own entity. Because then that way you'll get a Mar- like you'll get both movies like every year and shit like that. Kind of like what um Marvel's done with Sony. Yeah, exactly. I want it to be something. Yo, like that, that, that Spider Man cool. movie mm-hmm. actually might be pretty good. So Spider Man Homecoming. No, I'm my bad. That Venom movie. Okay, why you say that? Because it takes place in San Fran. They're supposed to be using the storyline for Venom 
um, Lethal Protector. Yeah. And so Venom decides to go to San Fran from New York because he like makes a truce with Spider Man. Yeah. And then he gets abducted by some mercenaries, mm-hmm. and then they make him split his suit to make five other Venoms. Oh shit. Yeah. So I I think if that's the movie, we get a a Venom in the beginning, mm-hmm. a Venom broken apart. Yep. And then a Tom Hardy fighting to get his Venom back. And they say Carnage is supposed to be in it. Oh, shit. I think that would be actually a really good movie. That would be a really good movie. I can just see the action now. Like, Carnage. Yo, if they put Carnage in that shit, and he's like, with the like the blade hands, mm-hmm. and he's just like trying to cut up Venom, and Venom like looks good. Mm-hmm. Like, he looks like, how big would Venom, how big would you want Venom? Not that big. I kind of want Venom in between Drax and the Hulk. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. a little bit bigger than Drax. I don't think they're going to make him big. You don't think he's going to be big? You think he's going to be little? I mean, because, well, Tom Hardy is kind of a big guy. Like, if you saw him as he was Bane, like, he was pretty big. He was pretty jacked on that. The only thing with uh, Tom Hardy, he was just short. He doesn't look that jacked right now, though. He looks like he's in shape, but he doesn't look like yeah. he doesn't like Bane. No, nah. Bane was a fucking monster. Yeah, Bane was just a walking protein shake. <laughs> 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 that oh, nigga man. was a walking eight count. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what's up though. I I really want Fox to do something like that so that way everybody can get mentioned. Yeah, everybody's getting bread. Everybody's winning. I kind of like. And this may sound weird. I kind of like where Fox is going with their superhero movies, though. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I want. I'm interested in that because, like I, like I said, Logan was definitely a good ass movie. I, you know, I just kind of want a Wolverine on a, on an Avengers team just once. That'd be. And then him cool. have the suit. About time. Ooh. Damn it, Derek! Ooh, I had, a, I, had a, I had a spot. You oh. did. You're just gonna <laughs> let sleeping dogs lie. All right. I know every uh, every Hugh Jackman boy. picked that shit up in a, in a in a store and was like, maybe I will put on a blue and yellows, and he would just have like a fan mm-hmm. suit of it, and I was like, fuck you, Hugh Jackman, fuck you. Okay, this week's digest. Let's get into these movie trailers. We have four on Deckington. Mm-hmm. You haven't seen Downsizing trailer? No. Okay. All right. First up, I Tanya. Um, this is the movie about um, Tanya Harding. And she is played by Margot Robbie and Sebastian Wait, 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 Stan. wait. Um, why was Tanya Hardy so important? She was an amazing figure skater. Okay, was well, she better than the Asian lady, the Asian chick? Yes. Damn, she was? At one point, she was the best figure skater in the world. Was this in the 90s? Yes. Okay, so that's why I don't remember. 91. Tanya Harding. And I forget the chick who she bashed, but she broke this chick's leg. Oh, shit. Yeah, she fucked with this. She like she like broke this chick's leg like in a little with like a, a guy in a ski mask with like a slim gym and she was walking to practice and he ran up behind her and broke her like broke her knee and shit. Ouch. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Shit was crazy. Like no one believed it. Cause Tanya Harding was like she was Tanya fucking Harding. She was just this Damn, so somebody ran up behind her and broke her leg. She Oh, she oh she sent somebody to do that to, to another skater. Yeah, I forget the girl's name. Okay. They'll say it. Okay, here we go. Is she in jail? No. No. Oh. Come on now. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. Jail. Tanya, tell the truth. <laughs> Tanya. There's no such thing as truth. Everyone has their own truth. <laughs> I was the best figure skater in the world at one point in time. You call that a clean skate? Stop talking to her. That girl is your enemy. Waiting for the Who's that? Jeff was my first date ever. <laughs> is that, uh, what's and his my face? Mom came. The Winter Soldier. What's the soldier? You need to see a wholesome American family. <laughs> I don't have a wholesome American family. Nothing's well, ever your fault. I was embarrassed for you. My entire life, I've been told I wouldn't amount to anything. Oh. You know what? Maybe I would. How do I get a fair shot here? We also judge on presentation. 
not getting even even the playing field. I know a guy shouldn't even be saying his name. Derek. <laughs> oh shit. I never did this. What is going on? We're with the FBI. They know something. What can you tell us about Tanya Harding? <laughs> I don't know a Tony Harden. <laughs> you her bodyguard. This shit look good, dog. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, did you ever love me? I made you a champion, knowing you'd hate me for it. That's the sacrifice a mother makes. He cursed me. America. They want someone to love. She did some type of move, and she was like the first chick to own it, like ever do it before. Come on. Yeah. What kind of Friggin' person bashes in their friend's knee. Who would do that to a friend? <laughs> it does look good, though. Oh, shit. I, Tommy. Yo. Margot Robbie about to glow mm -hmm. the fuck up. Mm -hmm. I'm here for that shit, 100%. Damn. I was in. I was. I was really a kid when uh, when she. Because I didn't never even knew about the skater. Yo, that shit was legit. That shit was the real deal. Wow. Okay, so next we have No Activity, starring Adam Minky, uh, Will Ferrell, CBS All Access series. Oh shit, this is a TV show. Did not know that <laughs> when I put oh, this shit. up here. Why is this shit oh, a yeah, red band? Adam Adam May, uh, Mackay. Car 27, please report. Uh, this is car 27. Stand by, there actually is activity here. Oh, God, what is that? Oh, uh, oh, car 27. Oh, my God, there's a snake. Hello, oh we've cut out car 27. <laughs> Janice, what do I do? They cut out. No, 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 no. Car 27, please grow up. And did you have a siren on during a stakeout? We're on surveillance. So we sit here for hours and hours and hours. And Hours and nothing ever happens. Turn that way, and I'll tell you when to stop. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep stop. That's your best side. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> Warehouse party, yeah. We're here to dig a hole. Wait, we're actually digging a hole? I thought it was code for something. What would that be code for? <laughs> something not bullshit like hole digging. <laughs> no, 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 eh, eh. <laughs> Mason, stay off the internet. Boys will be boys. He's 15, and he's in my bathroom, whacking off. Yeah. Looks like a CSI frat house. The walls are oh, this much thicker than they were originally. Uh. <laughs> What's the combination? <laughs> yo, this is, yo, he's the funniest dude ever. Am I Liam Neeson? <laughs> Just trying to figure out who you're channeling. I mean, I'm not even doing an accent. <laughs> <laughs> I can see there's a crow. I'm just going to coerce him out your window. No, don't push him towards me. Why? Crows have AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Did your mom and I have a fight this morning? Yes, we did. Was it sexual in nature? You bet. <laughs> At one point, were we grunting like two grizzly bears? Not a question. Stop. <laughs> you coyotes ready to fuck this thing? <laughs> <laughs> I want to be nude. I don't want you to be nude. <laughs> <laughs> you think I need a dick to do what you do? No, no, you do not need it. And I celebrate that. <laughs> <laughs> you want to have dinner? Uh, no. Fuck no. Sorry, I just meant to say no. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Fun fact. Do not talk to me. <laughs> I'm not here. Do you hear me? I mean, you don't because I'm not here, but I'm not here. All right. We just, we Yo, a what? CBS. CBS got two bangers. Oh, shit. They got two bangers. They got Star Trek, which I hear is doing really well. Yeah. And they got this show. Like I'm here for both of those bitches. It's kind of crazy that I haven't seen. I haven't seen. Uh, like, I haven't seen Star. So next up we have downsizing. Downsizing, um, starring your main man's 
Uh, Matt Damon? Uh, Matt. Matt Damon. Oh, I kind of want to give a little light spoiler again. No, nah, no. Nah. About what? About Thor. Oh. Nah, okay. Nah, no spoiler. Nah, no, 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 no. It's good. It's good. Dude, we got room for spoilers in the future. Oh. All right. So this is the trailer for Downsizing. Um, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, shit. Damn. The cause of all the catastrophes we are seeing today is overpopulation. We are proud to unveil the only practical remedy to humanity's gravest problem. Are you ready, Doctor? Yes, I'm ready. How? Wow. That is wild, isn't it? That's wild. Dave Johnson. Hey, everybody. And Carol. He never struck me as the kind of guy who'd go get small. Downsizing takes the pressure right off. Plus, you're really making a difference. You mean all that crap about saving the planet? Yeah. Downsizing is about saving yourself. You live like kings. You got best houses, best restaurants, cheesecake wow. factory. You got three of them. In leisure land, your $52,000 translates to $12.5 million to live on for life. <sighs> Wow. Do you understand wow. that you will undergo the permanent and irreversible medical procedure commonly known as downsizing and that your bodies will be approximately 0.0364% of their current mass and volume? That's crazy. Nervous? Yeah. Uh, little. This is on the other side. I love you. Yo, all them niggas is small. Right. And they pick them up with a goddamn spatula. Hey, how's everybody doing today? <laughs> That's crazy. Keepsake. Look at that song. Yeah. This looks pretty good. The small world is filled with things to see. Oh, MP. Sometimes you think we're in the normal world. And then something happens. Oh my god. And you realize we're not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely doesn't look like a bad movie at all. <laughs> Like a pretty chill joint, yo. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Like I'm kind of here for that shit. I'm here for that shit all the way. So that wraps up our show for this week. We will see you guys in two weeks. Yes, sir. We probably will be talking. Well, at the event, we're going to be talking about Justice League. Okay, but we'll probably talk about it again. Yeah, the event's going to be exciting. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should do the topic out the hat though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that might be a little bit more fun. Yeah. Yeah. Because it might be some, I don't know. We're going to talk about topics on the Slack channel mm-hmm. next week. So, yes, cool. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Speaking of, um, if you didn't get your tickets for the Spaces Mixer, still go out there and get them. Go to spacesmixer.brownpaperticket.com and go ahead and get your tickets. Um, it's going to be November 18th from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. At the Philadelphia Ethical Society. You're going to be getting five show live podcasts. Podcasts from the Mark and Dark Show, Lulu and Pop, Both Sides, Three Black Films, yes. Broke for Culture. Yes. And then yes. we're going to be debuting three new shows, yep. Pilot Boys, mm-hmm. Sex Expressive, yep. whose episodes are already up, so go check them out. As well as the Get Your Life Project, who just launched today as you're hearing this. So hey. it was two days ago. So go iTunes, follow and find them, do it. Um, give us five stars and a positive comment. We love that shit. It helps us out. And, yeah, I guess that wraps us up for us this week. You got anything? No, I do not. Y'all just come to the event. Come dog, you like you about, the, you about to pass out, dog. Your eyes look heavy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. We out. Peace.